Good morning, folks, and here's a story about one of my favorite romantic comedies of the past few years. It's also a manga and an anime, and it's called, if I can pronounce this correctly, Bokutachi wa benkyo ga dakinai. It essentially means that we can't study, we can't learn, and it's a story about this young man who wants to get into his uh, college of choice, and in order to get into, because he's poor, he needs to get a scholarship, and in order to get the scholarship, he has to get some sort of deal with the principal that he's going to teach these two young ladies who are geniuses in topics they're not good at because as one of them is good in science the one's good in literature they don't want to study those things in post-secondary education they want to get into i think ogata wants to do either the arts or psychology and uh fumino wants to do uh i think it was astronomy so it's it's a typical romantic comedy where all these contrived scenarios lead up to a series of silly events. And in the process of teaching these young ladies, they form relationships. And there's all these rivalries. More women show up. More students show up. He has to teach. And it's your typical romantic comedy from manga and anime. It's very popular. As you can see, it's 26 million views on this website alone. So pretty popular stuff. Now, what ends up happening is when it got uh, bought out or I guess they bring it over to North America, Aniplex t- took it and they brought their their subs, their sub team to do it. So bring in the English subtitles. And they started throwing in terms that may not have properly translated from the original. So they have things like woke, virtue signaling, and a bunch of other terms that probably shouldn't be there. And uh, there's Ogata in one of her get-ups, which is trying to be more feminine. And here's some of the the lines. So we got, you don't have to be PC about it. Uh, I think that's the main male character saying that. I mean, it's not, it's not a bad line. It's probably not off, but I'm quite sure that's not how it was represented in the original. Uh, You know, quit with the virtue signaling. That's not quite exactly what was happening in that scene either. Um, This one is way off. Uh, Okay, Ogata is completely not a people person, and she's dressing up in a maid cafe and uh, trying to be more sociable with the patrons. And I think she's playing a card game. I can't remember the exact, the exact scene. But the fact they called, she calls herself Woke Gambler Ogata does not fit. And it's just, uh, she refers to herself as Kakuse Shobushi Ogata. is used to refer to an awakening in power. While Woke stems from the same etymological origin as awakening, it is yet another term that currently carries a drastically different meaning in Western contexts. So yes, you can use the term awaken or I am this waking up person, but when you have a loaded word like woke, that takes on a whole different context, especially in today's wonderful left-leaning words, (laughs) war of words we have these days with politically correct culture and what these words mean. So this is certainly not something Ogata would say. Ogata is actually pretty conservative. If I were to look at her home life, her dad, what she wants to study, um, how she wants to to talk to uh, the guy she likes, all these sorts of it doesn't it does not match her personality. She does not have the personality to be this left leaning, politically minded f- person. She's very reserved. She wouldn't have these thoughts. Uh, she probably wouldn't even understand them because she's so mathematical. So it's this strange thing to see, especially on a on a romantic comedy I really enjoy. And what's happening with the romantic comedy right now, the, the mangaka is actually doing alternative stories. This the, the manga pretty much ended. I haven't read it all. I'm still going through some of it. But there, he's doing alternate stories of what if the, uh, the, her- the hero ended up with this heroine or went that way. And I really like that that method because usually there's all these people saying, Ooh, what's going to happen at the end? Who's he going to end up with? 
who's the the girl that who's best girl right and uh the mangaka says well you know what i'm gonna do them all <laughs> so he's gonna appease all the fans obviously the the, the mangaka loves writing this stuff and uh it's not a big deal for him to, to keep writing more stories because it's very popular and why not what's stopping him so bravo on the mangaka bravo on the on the anime not so bravo on the uh the translation team for taking that changing characters around changing words around i know these are just little words in dialogue that shouldn't annoy people but when you're talking about loaded words like virtue signaling and woke you go okay we don't need this this is i'm quite sure the japanese are not this specific they have their own list of terms and words which are very culturally appropriate and that's all we want out of translation we want the translation not to be a literal translation but as close to possible in a, in a consumable and neutral term as possible in, in neutral words as possible and that's very important for subs for uh, translations for whatever uh, primary source you're working with so to see this is kind of sad. I already watched the anime, so I know it goes on. It's adorable, it's cute, it's funny, and it never, as far as I can recall, never ever goes into the realm of being politically correct or, or virtue signaling or representing anything. I don't think there's a any representation of people of color in this anime. Anime doesn't have to. It's perfectly fine being anime. So this is just silly. Of course, the real fans have already watched the show and already consumed the manga, so we're okay. But to see Aniplex do it, kind of a bad move. Anyway, thanks for listening. Have yourself a great day.